Like. Carillons are a European instrument. They're commonly found in the Netherlands, just on every street corner. Carillon music is constantly playing. Carillons are unique in the United States because there aren't many of them. There are only 160 in the whole country, seven in the, in the state of New York. You can't just call any set of bells a carillon. It has to meet certain criteria. One of the basic criteria would be it has to be a set of 23 bells in a chromatic sequence. Do you want to just briefly count run? Yeah. This instrument is set up like um, a piano keyboard, and each of these pedals and batons is connected to one of these wires, and they pull the clapper to the side of the bell to make the sound. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And each cable or each wire connects to a single bell. So there are 50 bells in our carillon. We were first approached by the Gandhi Institute to play a piece of music that was uh, specific for the uh, season of non-violence. When we play the bells, it kind of reminds us to be called back to practicing peace. Peace really has to be something that you practice more than just when you're called to. It has to be something that you're dedicated to, something that you have to keep coming back to. Ed and I are playing this piece as a duet because it's a little bit above our level to play as a um, solo and also Ed unfortunately has a messed up wrist. <laughs> um, so I have to take over the handle parts for him um, that are the chords that he can't play because he doesn't have two hands. So we really have to work well together to make this piece work. It takes more than one person to achieve peace. So by playing this piece as a duet, I'm from Singapore, so I'm from the, the Asian culture. I'm from Pittsburgh. So it's like East Midwest trying to achieve peace, and peace is also brought about by two different people having different strengths and weaknesses coming together. So my weakness is that I've lost one hand, but Kelly's there to step in. And my weakness is that I'm half deaf, but Ed is the one who is just, just keeps going on the side when I can't hear. my left ear so he really has to just kind of follow along with me and be my ears for me and just hear the carol on better than I can. If you're playing any other instrument people have to come and listen to you play but this is an instrument that people all over campus can hear. It gives me great honor and it also gives me a chance to give back to the U of R community to be able to provide music for the campus and also for the Rochester community in general.